Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the X-Files game. In the last episode we captured Smolnikov, or whatever that Russian guy's name was, uh, inside his own warehouse, but unfortunately he was released soon after because there simply wasn't enough evidence against him, and Astadorian was not very happy about that, so she came to our apartment basically to just uh, yell at us, and just give us a piece of her very angry mind, and during that time we got a phone call, well actually no, it wasn't a phone call because we never answered the phone, but we got a phone message, and in that message uh, we were told to come here at dawn, and here we met this uh, one guy whom I'm going to refer to as the mysterious ally, because he never told us his name, but he was this one uh, black guy in a suit, and he told us that Agent Mulder and Scully are uh, fine, and by fine he means alive, but they are not together right now, if I remember correctly, so they are separated, okay? That's good to know. And he then told us that, that the Russian Soviet uh, plutonium smugglers are not involved in this case, in Mulder's and Scully's case, that is. He also told us to not to tell anyone that we have met and have spoken. But then again, like I said, it's not like I know who he is, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. And then he gave us uh, this stiletto and according to him this stiletto is the only uh, weapon that can actually kill those uh, possessed looking people and so we are supposed to use this to their neck if I remember correctly so guns won't do anything against them okay that's good to know and lastly he told us to go this uh, golden bar or gold bar or something like that so so, so we are about to go there with Asadorian because she uh, followed us here because she was present there in our apartment when we got the message So yeah, so without further ado, let's go to that place to the gold or golden bar or whatever it was Is this the way out? Okay, and now for the next five minutes I'm going to figure out that that, that where the hell do I go next to get the hell out of here? It took me about over five maybe about eight minutes to To come here and this is the place where we spoke. Oh, and there's, there's a Sadorian. Hello. Well, at least she doesn't look that angry anymore. Oh, I'm so dumb. We just used this. There we go. Okay, so gold bar. And to hospital. Okay. At first, at first I thought that the, that gold bar was an actual, you know, bar where you go to drink. Hello. May I ask your business here? Mm-hmm. We're looking for Dennis Scully. We're looking for Jane Doe. A Jane Joe. Oh yeah, he mentioned this as well, but I'm not but I wasn't quite sure that was Jane Doe a person. Well they say a Jane Doe, so I guess not. I'm looking for my sister. That's a pretty random lie, but okay. Hmm. I guess in, I guess in Dana Scully is more important. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might you be? Her brother. I should we just yeah, let's just show the uh, badge to them. Okay, we have shown her that. I'm with the FBI. May I see some identification? Well I just show yes. them. Uh do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Hmm. Yeah, it's Walter Skinner. Walter Skinner. This is her room behind me. Okay. How is her wound? Is he ready to leave yet? Well, how is her wound? How is her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. Hmm, As to good. her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Other condition? Don't tell me that she's possessed as well. What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Yeah, sounds like sounds like possession, all right. Or something along those lines. Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. Hmm. Okay. Has anyone else come to see her? Oh no, thank God you're the first. 
How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. Hmm, okay, if you say so. Okay, I guess we're done with her. Are you Dana Scully? Well, can't you tell? You have a photo of her. Who are you? Ah, oh, look at her. Ah, oh, lovely Gillian Anderson. Ancient Mulder Sanders? No, he didn't. And besides, I'm quite sure that she would be suspicious of us if, if we if we told her this. Uh, we are here to help you, assistant. You better explain yourself, or I'm calling for help. Oh God damn it! You sent you here. You're, you're really not giving me it. Don't move. Son of a bitch! I really can't believe I'm having to do this. After five years at the bureau, you should know better. Hmm. I but need your do... badge and gun. But we didn't even do anything. What the hell? <laughs> we didn't even do anything there. God damn it, game, not giving me the time to actually read the damn options. Okay. Well, let's try this again. Are you Dana Scully? Who are you? Okay, let's do this fast. Mm. Yeah, this. Assistant Director Skinner asked us to look for you. I didn't know I was lost. Who are you? Agent Wilmore. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? Hmm. A black man, we can tell you. A friend of yours. Uh, a friend of yours. Friend a of friend us. of yours. Who? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. You better explain yourself or I'm calling for help. It was the man who gave me this. All right. He told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. Let's talk. Okay, there we go. I should have click clicked that... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Quick action thingy earlier. Okay, so... Well, how do you feel, for starters? How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. <laughs> okay. And any idea about Mulder? Do you have any idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. Well, yes, obviously. Could you have radiation poisoning? Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. Oh, shit. That's not good at all. What is this used for? You shouldn't show that quite so openly. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. Okay. Well, as far as I know, we use this to kill those uh, weird uh, people who look like they are possessed. Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I mm -hmm. think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium, and Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? Extraterrestrial Biological Entity. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did your autopsy on the Tarakan crew reveal? What did your autopsy on the crewmen reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now, clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in <laughs> the area... Of course. ...and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Tarakan crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? There is always an alternate explanation. Yes, always. And the warehouse. What happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. There was an odd light. Mulder carried me out of the warehouse, I blacked out, and I woke up here. Mm-hmm, okay. So, it is... I'm afraid that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. 
I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium is being transported. There's an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charna, Gordon's Hauling. They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard, and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner, and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but mm, nice. I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time, and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. Hmm, okay. So we are done here. Okay, fine. Okay, so like like I was about to say, so it is possible that it was Mulder who who brought uh, Scully here. Okay, so ah oh, this uh, ruler root one one twenty one. Okay. That little PDA of yours was right. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm not afraid of technology. What is it that we're looking for again? Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. Something with the number 82434 on it, right? What? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I think that we are looking for a specific card here. That's what they meant. I was like, uh, what? Okay. And I already forgot it. But hey, I'm sure that I can recognize it once we find it. What about here? Okay. So far, nothing too interesting. Actually, let's check our notes here. You have mail. Okay, is this the... Oh, no, this is new. Okay, from Monte. Subject. Prelim... Preliminary... Preliminary bomb forensics. Agent Wilmore. I have completed an initial anal analysis of the bomb type that destroyed the structure in Charno, Washington. I'm a little concerned. This was a very professional device. I believe it used a compound called HGW907, which is an extremely powerful blast chemical used exclusively by the US military. Oh, that's that's one long email. Uh, where was I? Exclusively, exclusively by the US military, Navy SEALs to be exact. It is a super-stable compound that starts as two separate catalytic agents. When the two agents are mixed, they will not detonate if the cohesion takes place in the presence of a low amperage direct current electrical signal. I have no idea what that just meant. So long as the baseline voltage is maintained, the mixture remains inert. If the voltage increases, decreases or stops, the compound instantly becomes uh, super-volatile. A heavy footstep from 10 yards can provide sufficient impetus for... Uh, I always get lost when I do that. Ah, there. Uh, provide sufficient impetus for detonation. Well, damn. This essentially renders any device made with this compound defuse-proof. In the case of the Charno device, a microcoupled negative presence capacitor was put into the positive lead line going from the timer to the blast mixture. So once the direct signal current stopped, via either the timer or intervention, the capacitor kicked in with a large amperage electrical pulse that caused the HGW907 to detonate. Okay. A lucky operator might have been able to cut the line from the capacitor downstream, stopping the DC pulse, but the energy from his wire cutters closing would probably have been enough to initiate detonation anyway. Ah, okay, so that's why we blew up when I tried to use the wire cutters. 
uh, on the wires of, of the bomb. I am concerned because a device of this nature should not be found outside the field of influence of the military. If an ex-Navy SEAL has managed to get his hands on some of the stuff, and he has an axe to grind, we could have some serious trouble on our hands. You don't say. A search of the available stockpile shrinkage records indicates all HGW907 stocks are present and accounted for. To my knowledge, this compound has never been available through the black market. Regards, Monte Tjofen, BATF NW Region Senior Forensic Scientist. Okay, thanks. Now we know that. Now, what was I... Now, what did I want to check again? Oh yes, our notes. Uh, not, not this, uh, here. Okay, so how many pages? Quite a few. Uh, anything about Scully? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mulder left Scully at hospital. Okay, so it was Mulder. No idea Mulder's location. Scully's autopsy confirmed massive radiation burns to crew. Uh, main suspect UFO went down in area of Tarakan. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Causing victims burns. Scully skeptical, naturally. Uh, pair uh, ops. Uh, obstacles? Ob objectives? I don't know. Uh, traffic at a warehouse. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Pair pair obstacles or something like that. A traffic at warehouse went in, were shot at by several men, lost consciousness, woke up at hospital. Says go to ruler root address. She'll uh, she'll contact Skinner and meet later. Okay. So we just look around for now. And that's a dead end, and we could use this if we want to, but let's look around some more. Who knows, maybe Isadorian finds it. Okay, that's a dead end. Hmm, can we get inside these cards? Or are we first supposed to find the right card first? Okay, that's a window. That's our car, okay. Our car once again. Where, where is Astadorian? Now you know what, game, help me out here. Mm-hmm. Okay. There was a long pole. Okay, sure, but what about that? Oh, now it's glowing and moving and shit. Okay. Careful, it could fall. Okay, so now we can look around a bit better. Still can't see Astadorian anywhere. Like, what am I supposed to find? Can I... Oh, not this. Uh-huh. 82434. So is this the car that we are looking for? Oh, the eerie music. Should I save? Oh, Asadorian, there you are. Now, you know what? Since I don't like the music, let's uh, save here. Whose theory do you believe, Mulder's or Scully's? I'm quite sure that she's just as just as skeptical as Scully. 
about uh, UFOs. What could they use this place for? Whose theory do you believe? Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking forward to meeting Agent Mulder. Mm-hmm. Okay. She's a fan. Maybe she would like this book. What could they use this place for? Are you kidding? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is pretty terrifying. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. This yard is deserted. I didn't get that. These boxcars haven't been used in years. Okay, but now to the right card, I take it. It had a very metallic, silvery-like roof. And the music is again, maybe we are close. Ah, back there. Ah, where the hell is it? Why couldn't you go there yourself, uh, Wilmore? Why well, I might have to look for it. And where, uh, and where is Asadorian again? Okay, screw it, let's go back up there real quick. Okay, so... Hmm, okay. I think I now know how to get there. Okay, so we have to... get to the other side... here. Uh, not quite yet. Not through this. Uh, here. What did we... Ah, oh, damn it. Now how do we get to this side? Hmm. Didn't I see some ladders? Oh wait, <laughs> which, which way was it again? Okay, these ladders, yeah, can't we use this to get to the other side, or... Or maybe, maybe, maybe we're supposed to go there this, uh, this way. Uh-huh. This car's been burned. Okay, good to know. Okay. Uh, let's go in, I suppose. Okay. Well, obviously this fire is recent. Well, obviously for you, maybe. The, <laughs> the quality of these still images are so bad and bad that it's hard to tell that what's reason and what's not. Okay, some garbage. Hello. This looks like an operating room of some kind. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of it kind of does, and I don't like it. Not one bit. Anything in interesting here? Nope. Hmm. Should I take? I don't know samples. Is there anything interesting to take samples of? Or anything interesting to pick up? I mean, what's so interesting about this? And I can only just go back and do nothing, nothing else there. Talk to her. No, I guess not. Okay, I can't go forward, by the looks of it. Hmm. Oh yeah, I think I noticed this earlier. Or oh, looked at this point of view a minute ago. I can't do anything here either. The game just tells. Uh, the game just. Uh, the game just allows me to go back, and that's it. Can I even try to open this? I don't know, cabinet or safe or whatever it is. 
lockpick. Now the game simply won't allow me to do that. Should I look up or down? <laughs> Didn't want to turn. The examples of anything? Well, I don't find I don't find anything here. Not seeing anything. Hmm? Look down. Nah, no, nothing. Just more ash. The examples of that. No. Can we talk to her? No, but we can leave. Hmm? Hey! Hey! Oh, looks like a homeless person. I didn't do nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. Okay. Is this your... Is this your home? Is this your home? Home is where the heart is near or far away. That was informative. Yes, very. See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. Yeah, apparently. I was thinking that maybe I should show him my badge, but at the same time I don't think it's gonna really matter that much if he really is a nutcase. What's this place used for? Well done. The Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. Mm-hmm, so you do know about some operations. You seen any men in suits or uniforms running around? Besides us, Oh yeah, course. all the time. Really? Yeah, ask Jane. I'm besieged by sniveling toadies trying to cheat me out of my sugar fortune. Okay. It's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it. In my own backyard. Can you believe that? Yeah, how rude. Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What, from the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? Mm, equipment, papers, but if they burned the place, then the papers would have most likely, the papers would have most likely not, would have not have survived. And besides, why, why would, why would he pick up some random papers anyway? Photographs, computer disks. Hmm. Same with photographs. And computer disks. Maybe some equipment. Equipment? Close. You. Oh. Again, as, a part of that dialogue was cut. I didn't click anything. Hmm. Computer disks? Computer disks. Huh. You're a good guesser. They're hmm. all pervasive, that's for sure. Magnetism. The heart of modern man. Keep trying. Hmm. Okay. Slide projector. Slide projector. Oh no, no, you couldn't be further off the mark. Think! Should we eat breakfast today? It's the most important meal of the day. Mm-hmm. Computer? Computer? Someday. Unless the Japanese have something to do with it. But for now, the answer is no. Tape recorder. You're a bloodhound. You're closing in now. What kind? Okay. Copy machine? What, like a Xerox machine? Yes. You're right. You're out of here. Floppy disks? Oh, wait, I was doing this. They're useless. Forget it. Hmm. I guess I guess we'll just keep going. Hard drive. Watch your mouth, son. Magneto optical drive. It's too complex, too technical. Think linear. Linear, huh? That drive? You're losing me again, son. 
Videotape recorder. <gasps> You're like a laser. Like the light of the sun. Oh, go on. Hmm. I wonder if we can actually ever guess what the, uh, what it is. Like this. But then again, we must be running out of options at some point, so I guess that eventually... Audio tape recorder? Oh, what a shame. What a disappointment. I thought you had so much potential. Aren't you embarrassed to be with this guy? <laughs> Cellophane tape recorder? <laughs> Look, I like a joke as much as the next guy, but one more outburst like that and I will be forced to clear the courtroom. Mm, just a videotape then? Videotape? Yes, sir. We have a winner. Videotape Finally. it is. Congratulations. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, ten bucks. Well, sure. We're gonna at least give him ten bucks. For helping the FBI. Don't tell me that you have no ten bucks. Wilmore, that's so embarrassing. Peter doing business with you. Thanks. Well, Wilmore. You gotta take Asatorian for dinner now. Okay, so we got a videotape. I guess we go either back to the field office or even back to uh, Wilmore's place to watch it. Any comments? No? Okay. But yeah, Wilmore has to take Asatorian to, uh, uh, to a dinner now to pay those 10 bucks back. Now, uh, yeah, let's go to our, our, our place first. I mean, at least I know that there's a video, video, a uh, video recorder there, or a VHS, a VHS, uh, player. Okay, uh, no, no, like this. No. Oh wait, it is a videotape, right? A videotape as in VHS, right? Okay, I guess not. Let's go back to the field office then. Uh, maybe Scully is waiting for us there already. Put it in. Okay, so we have to come here. Okay. Let's put this sucker in. Oh, Cook. What's up? Mark Cook, Mary Asadorian. Mary Asadorian, Mark Cook. Nice to meet you. He was the one who told us to make the raid, you know. Why don't you yell at him now? Okay, this is from the card where, where we just were. Do we recognize that face? I don't think we do. Okay, somebody's obviously cutting on something. What do these clandestine medical experiments have to do with Russian smugglers? Yeah, and if this guy's a surgeon, what was he looking for at Gordon's Halling? And what was that experiment being performed? I don't know. Whatever it was, the patient didn't look human. I didn't, I didn't visit the patient. There's a good doctor there. Yeah, all you gotta do is... Take a frame of the video and match it against the databases. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so let's do it. Wait, was this the guy who attacked us at Gordon's Holding? Not sure, but anyway, uh, capture and citizen search, I guess. No, uh, FBI. Nope. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, is that... Uh, Colonel... Is that, uh, Colonel... Uh, I don't know. Ronge... Uh, John Nathan. Okay. Military uh, surgeon, schooling, graduate of University of uh, Rochester, marital status, divorced, Note, uh, don't go down that much. National security order censorship of some information concerning this subject prevents 
disclosure of all uh, pertinent information requested unless recipient has proper clearance level D4 and above. Okay, March 1995, Coloner, or is that Colo? Is it, is it pronounced Coloner? I don't know. Uh, Ron's given a com commendation and assignment to Eisenhower Field, Alaska. His duties deleted. I guess that's too secret for us. Wait, where, where was I? February 1988. Ron's promoted, assigned to Perky, West Virginia, medical facility as staff physician. His duties included uh, deleted and deleted. Okay. March 1982, following deployment to Central America, Guana. Major Ronch was in for the until establishment of... Okay, this guy is way too secret for us, apparently. Posted to Karashi, Pakistan Station, as overseer of personnel uh, training. Associated with Operation Black Cloak, classified, nature of work. A movements from 1975 to 1982 classified by order of uh, NSA. February 1975, subject joined U.S. Military Service, Navy Medical Corps, Division of U.S. Marine uh, Corps. Assigned duty at, deleted, 1972, completion of studies at University of Rochester. Subject assigned as intern. Oh, sorry, did I go down too much again? Uh, subject assigned as intern at Rochester Institute. I mean, I went too much again. <laughs> Where was I? Completion of studies at University of Rochester. Sub uh, subject assigned as intern at Rochester Institute of Medicine. Okay, that was that. Okay, so now we know this. Bingo. Okay, what do we have here? Jonathan Rausch. That's him, all right. Wow. Military, huh? Yeah, looks that way. What's that? Hmm? Someone's trying to establish a video conferencing link. Oh, what the hell. Never really tried to use this thing before. Okay, video conferencing request. Okay. Agent Wilmore? Yes. Ah, we're in the right place. Uh, what the... Uh, <laughs> that guy actually kind of looked like that. Was it from Wayne's World? And that one, that dude with uh, long blonde hair and uh, and glasses and stuff. That's what he looked like to me, from Wayne's World. How did you get this address? How did you get this address? Well, we assumed you had the standard issue bureau box on your desktop, and all those are equipped for full duplex video conferencing, though nobody ever uses it. So we just looked you up in the Peekaboo white pages which lists the DNS entry and IP address of every Peekaboo equipped machine in the country. Pretty straightforward, really. You want Jana Reno's number? Uh, no, I'll, I'll pass. Thanks. Are you sure? She keeps the computer in the bedroom. Damn. Okay, so who are you guys? Who are you? Friends of Agent Scully. Some mm -hmm. of us are more than just friends. She asked really? us to contact you. Did she know? What do you want? Agent Scully contacted us with information about the case you're working on. Now, based on what Dana told us, we believe that there's a top-secret facility in Alaska involved. Okay. Okay, what's the big deal about Alaska? Well, this facility is used as a nexus point for most of the government's West Coast boxcar work. If this is true, Mulder's in incredible danger. This facility was built in the early 60s. We think they chose Alaska so they can use the Aurora Borealis to hide UFO traffic into and out of the base. We also think an alien craft recovered in the Pacific is stored there. Okay. Interesting. What's boxcar work? Ah, one of the great unspoken peace dividends. The government has a massive network of rail cars, which they can use as mobile surgical theaters, autopsy rooms, and quarantine facilities. Mm -hmm. These boxcars have a twofold purpose. They allow the government to quickly pick up and transport stray EBEs, and they serve as a mobile base of operations for a series of genetic experiments. Okay, so that's so that's what we found, and what was burned. What kind of genetic experiments? The cross-pollinization of the human race, intermingling human DNA with genetic material from EBEs. 
Great, okay. I don't believe this. Suddenly I'm Barbara Bain to your Martin Landau. <laughs> okay, so you know where Mulder is? Where is Mulder? We're not sure. But knowing Mulder, if there's a trail leading to this facility, he's following it. Scully mentioned an unidentified man who was of some concern. Did you manage to determine his identity? Yeah, Dr. Jonathan Rausch, a Navy surgeon. You know, where's he stationed? Eisenhower Field, Alaska. Oh yeah, that's the guy. He served a stint in Perky, West Virginia? Yes. But this is bad. Listen, you have to get there. Mulder may not have much time left. First go to Rauch's house and then on to the secret base. Okay, how do I get to the base? Well, Scully said you had a PDA? Yeah. Great. I'll email you the GPS coordinates of the base. This fax. Mm hmm. Okay. The Canadian border guard was found dead this morning from massive unexplained burns, and Mulder's rental car was observed crossing the Canadian border into Alaska. Well, damn. I don't believe this. <laughs> well, that's it then. Uh, no doubt about it. You're going to have to get there ASAP. I just uploaded the GPS data. Okay, well, okay. thanks, Nerds. We're going to keep Mulder alive. We've got to get moving. You get to Roush's. You're probably going to want to take a charter flight. The island's going to be too busy. I'll keep everything nailed down here. Contact the Juno field office. Get you some backup. Think you can scare up a charter flight for this man? Sure, I can do that. Okay, let's go. I'm not sure if I like the idea, if I like the fact that... You want a window or an aisle seat? Well, maybe you should come with me. I don't think so. Why not? It's your case, too. Yeah, Alaska's a little outside my jurisdiction. Besides, I have real detective work to do. You be safe. I will. Well, God damn it! Well, at least she's not upset with us. Why didn't you yell at Cook, by the way? But anyway, like I was saying, I don't think I like the fact that Cook uh, knows what we're up to. Okay, but uh, you know what, folks? I think I'm going to end this episode here. We have done some very, very good progress. So in the next episode, we go to Rauncher's house and see what we can find from there. And then after that, I suppose we go to Alaska. Without Asadorian, sadly. I think Cook is... Oh, wait, no. Cook is not coming with us. Thank God. I guess, assuming that he is involved in this somehow and has been trying to slow down the investigation on this case. This case just keeps getting more and more interesting. And we also found Agent Scully, perfectly healthy and fine, so that's great. One agent found, one more agent to go. But yeah, anyway, so in the next episode we go to Ronch's house and then to Alaska. So, until then. Thank you for watching once again and see you next time for more The X-Files Game.